So installation is simple enough. So let's have a look at how we uh, how we use them. So let's uh, take a look at our first clip over here. Now I'm limited a little bit in terms of screen resolution with the uh, the recording software here, but you'll get a little uh, idea about what what's going on in this thumbnail up here. So the film wash color effects are the final loving kiss you give to your footage. So if we've got it all balanced up here, all we have to really do is come into the color effects room, into our color effects bin. So we're going to come into the cyans here because that's the main hue that we're after with this, this uh, skyline here. Uh, and all you have to do is really just double click and this will load in the film wash effect for you. And we can vaguely see what's going on in here. It's, uh, it's, it's very much uh, shrunk down on this single monitor display here. So that's not, not particularly useful. Uh, and if you don't like the, the one that you've got, we can just... Uh, Double click and load up another one here. Now sometimes you'll find that the effect is slightly too strong for uh, for what you're after. Um, so so always in the in the bottom right hand corner of our node tree here, we'll have the same type of effect or the same same nodes uh, all the time. So we'll have the uh, the main film wash coming into this blend mode here. And in this blend node, we can see this is currently set to one, which means that it's completely using all of the uh, the film wash that we uh, that we just put onto it. If I take that to zero, it completely removes the film wash. And if I take that to anywhere in between, say 0.5, we start to blend this back a little bit. So let's take it to 0.75 maybe. So you can very quickly and easily just sort of dial the effect back if you if you really need to and if after you've uh, after you've done that you still want to uh, to do something else with it maybe brighten it up slightly we can always just come into the regular primary out room and we'll just bump that up just very slightly just in the luma curves there so here's the before and after just four clicks and that's looking uh, that's look actually looking pretty nice. So let's uh, take it on to the next clip here. Let's see what we can do with uh, with this clip here. So I'm going to come into the color effects room again, into my color effects bin. Uh, this time we'll take a quick look through the reds. Uh, we'll have a look at the uh, the Kodachrome two. Quite nice. We've got a strong red in here as well. So you can see that there's there we go. So you can you can see there's there's a lot of very different sorts of looks you can go for. Uh, we're going to just just carry on with a faded photo a bit here. So let's just play that through. So this is just simulating small film stock where some of the colours are just faded away a little bit. Um, Okay, so let's again come into our bottom right hand corner because this is where the uh, simplest control is going gonna, is gonna to be there. So again, I'm just going to dial that back slightly to 0.75. So I'm mixing in a little bit of the original footage again. And over here, we've got a, our vignette area. So by default, this is turned off. So you can see that by the, uh, the orange box around my Alpha Blend 2. So if we come onto the alpha blend here and just turn the bypass off you can see that that was the thing that was stopping the vignette coming through so this is the only thing that's standing between us and a, and a quick vignette so if we come to the exposure in fact let's double click on alpha blend 2 to lock that in place come into our exposure and instead of having that at 0 0.31 so we have minus 0 0.31 we'll turn that to 0 0.31 and just have a, a lighter frame instead Maybe a bit too light, but hey, for the uh, for our purposes here, should be fine. Let's actually take that down to two one. And the final thing to look for is the film grain as well. Again, that's got the orange box on. 
so it's bypassed by default so it's turned off by default once it on there we can just take the bypass off let's double click anywhere in the gray to turn the, the lock off and then we can turn maybe the grain intensity up a little bit here as well if we we feel the need to so just so you can see a, a bit better on this preview that's nice we've gone from there to there and a couple of little clicks so with a film wash we don't all, all we really can to try and make it as, as simple and straightforward for you as uh, as possible uh, and it, it still remains customizable so if you want your vignette to uh, not be directly in the middle there let's just double click on the alpha blend again to uh, to sort that out um, we can come in and we can change the uh, the Y center here 0.25 and then that's moved that uh, that vignette slightly over to the uh, slightly over to the right you can see that there the great thing is we can also use the uh, the color tracks as well directly within this vignette area too so if we really wanted to we can do that there nice so let's quickly uh, let's move on so we take a look at this next shot now um, I want to create a, uh, a slightly more menacing look so I'm going to come into my greens here and let's have a, uh, a quick look at what we've got. We've got a, a, a day for night interior uh, shot there, which is actually quite, quite nice, but not, not for this shot, I don't think. We've got a little dystopia. Let's turn our thing back on. Cool, Emerald City, 50s diner. Graphic green. Okay, well, let's, we've got the light fading exterior here, so we'll, we'll carry on with this a little bit, I think. Um, the only thing is that this has made it, uh, or made the body, slightly too dark for, uh, for my purposes. So the nice thing about having this just as part of the regular pipeline is we can come into the secondaries here. Let's come to the, uh, the start of our shot. So we can come into our secondaries. Let's just enable that and we'll enable a vignette. And let's just pump that in there. Change the angle slightly. Soften, soften, soften. Cool, I'm just also going to add a, uh, a keyframe here start okay and let's see what we can do with this uh I'm not going to do anything too drastic i think all i'm going to do in the first instance is just raise the gamma up maybe the saturation just slightly and then come into another secondary enable that stick another vignette in there as well this time we'll just go straight for the face Soft, soft, soft. 